guys such a cool unit model. So these uh, troops used to use uh, obsidian glass um, based weapons, which might seem a little bit primitive, um, but that's just because that's quite a Eurocentric view. Uh, they were incredibly deadly and apparently, uh, I don't know how true this is, but apparently they could take the head off of a horse. I will say that I didn't study this uh, this this period of history uh, academically, so I could be wrong on a number of things. If I am, please do correct me in the comments below. If you want to add something to the, the discussion, please do, because I really do uh, enjoy reading about the sort of obscure historical facts we all, we all know and love. For instance, common misconception that the Spanish sort of turned up and just conquered Mexico because they had guns and, and superior technology. Um, it was actually because a lot of people were upset with the uh, Aztec uh, rule and sort of the dominant hierarchy, and they used... Um, they sort of introduced themselves as a part of the geopolitical game in Mexico, meaning that people were more likely to side against them and didn't really sort of bandwagon uh, or balance against them. And it's sort of a pretty standard uh, conception that like European powers would just turn up and like dominate whatever sphere and then, oh, if only the natives knew what threat. No, they just didn't, it just didn't work like that at that point. They're just a new geopolitical power. Why would they suddenly be opposed to another power coming in? 